I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai. Peace and safety to the hopefully elect. All the sincere Akim scattered throughout the four corners, pushing this word in sincerity and in truth. For those who don't know, Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father, who the world ignorantly calls God, and Yahweh Shai is the name of the only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. And this is another edition to drop the mic. And um, in this edition, the first precept I want to get is Matthew's uh, chapter 22 and verse 14. And it reads, for many are called, but few are chosen. And that chosen is referring to the elect. All right. And um, to give you understanding of what that's referring to, I'm going to get another precept. Stay in the book of Matthew's chapter 7. Chapter 7 and verse 13. And it reads, Enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. And many, all right, remember, many are called, and many there be which go in, referring to that broad, that, that broad gate, that wide gate, all right, that gate that leadeth into destruction. Because we know um, Yahweh Shai, which is the truth and the way, and that's the path that the elect, uh, the elect will take, which is the straight gate. So read on verse 14, it says, because straight is the gate and narrow is the way. All right, narrow is the way, meaning Yahweh Shai is the way. Uh, read on, which leadeth into life. All right, through Yahweh Shai. So he's the... Uh, the straight gate, man, that, that narrow way, all right, which leadeth unto life, but few, but few there be that find it, and we know uh, many are called, but only few are chosen, all right, and that chosen is referring to the elect, of course, uh, of Israel, and uh, let's see, let's prove that further uh, in the book of Luke. Luke chapter 13 and verse uh, 23 and it reads then said one unto him Lord are there few that be saved and he said unto them scribe to enter in at the straight gate meaning go through your house side man all right which is the straight gate for many for many I say unto you, will seek to enter in and shall not be able. Because going back to what Matthew 22, 14, many are called, but few are chosen. All right. So it says, I say unto you, I say unto you, will seek to, uh, will seek to enter in and shall not be able when once the master of the house is risen up, and that master, of course, is referring to Yahweh Shai, and have shut the door, and ye begin to stand without, and to knock at the door, saying, Lord, Lord, open unto us, and he shall answer and say unto you, I know you not, whence ye are. Verse 26, then shall you begin to say, we have eaten, and, and we have drunk in thy presence. And that's going back to those uh, who taste those good words that once was enlightened that fell away. All right. So it says, then shall we begin to say, we have eaten and drunk in thy presence and thou hast taught in our streets. But he shall say, I tell you, I know you not. When she are, depart from me, all ye workers of iniquity. All right, referring to Israelites, those uh, who tasted of the good words and fell away, those <clears throat> those who uh, didn't endure, all right, as good soldiers, all right, this is who the Lord is referring to, because remember, many are called uh, to do this work, all right, but only few are chosen, man, all right, so uh, let's see. Let's get another precept. Prove that further in the book of Matthews, chapter 13, and verse 20. 
Matthew 13, 20. And it reads, but he that receives seed, uh, Salaki, Salaki. This is the book of Matthews. Uh, Matthews chapter 13 and 19. It says, When any one hears the word of the kingdom and understandeth it not, then cometh the wicked one and catches away that which is sown in his heart. This is he which receives seed by the way. Of the, by the way, by the wayside, and that's referring to those who was called, all right, not the chosen. Verse 20, but he that receives seed into a stony place, the same is he that heareth the word, and anon it with joy, and receive it, yet he have not root in himself, but doeth for a while, all right, but doeth for a while, for when tribulation or persecution arises, because of the word, by and by, he is offended, all right? And these are referring to those who was called, all right? Remember, uh, he ate, he tasted of the good word, but he had not root, all right? But when tribulation came and persecution uh, because of his word, all right, they was offended, all right? We know he also that received seed among thorns is he that heareth the word, and the care of this world and the deceitfulness and the deceitfulness of richness of riches Salakia, choke the word and he become unfruitful and remember uh, to be a good soldier uh, the good soldier is not entangled uh, with the cares of this world alright such as uh, riches and uh, in these unfaithful works Alright, so read on, but he that receiveth seed into good ground is he that heareth the word and understandeth it, which also bear fruit and bringeth forth some a hundredfold, some sixtyfold, and some thirtyfold. And this will be referring to the uh to the chosen, alright, to the elect. Alright. So uh let me get another precept. Uh going to the apocrypha. Second uh, Ezra chapter 7 and uh, verse 6. And it reads, There is also another thing. A city is built and set upon a broad field and is full of all good things. And that's referring to the uh, chosen, the elect. The entrance thereof is narrow. All right? To be part of the elect, you have to be chosen by Yahweh Shah, which is the straight path. All right? Which is that narrow road. All right? <clears throat> Read on. And it's set in a dangerous place. All right? Set in a dangerous place to fall. Like as if there were a fire on the right hand and on the left a deep water. And that's that tribulation and persecution that you're going to suffer um, for going that narrow path, man, for taking the straight gate. All right? So it says, verse 8, and one, and one only path between them both. Even between the fire and the water, so small that there could but one man go there at once. If this city now were given unto a man for an inheritance, because uh, to be part of the elect, all right, to be uh, kings and priests, part of that royal priesthood, that's the inheritance, all right, that's the promise that was given to Abraham uh, 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 by Yahweh, man. So it says, if he never shall pass the danger set before it, and that's that tribulation, man, that persecution, all right, that temptation. It says, how shall he receive this inheritance, all right? Not like those who was called, all right, and tasted of the good word of the Lord, all right, and fell away, all right, and put the Lord to shame, as, as the scripture saith. So uh, let's see here. Let's get another precept. The book of Proverbs. Uh, Proverbs. The 
book of Proverbs chapter 1 and uh, verse 15. And it says, My son, walk not thou in the way with them. Refrain thy foot from their path. All right? The way of wickedness, man. All right? Remember the, the, the straight gate, man. All right? The narrow path, which is Jehovah Shai. All right? That's a metaphor for Yahweh Shai, man. My son, walk not thou in the way with them. All right? The them is referring to that broad path, that many. All right? That was called. All right? Remember, only few is chosen. Refrain thy foot from their path. All right? Remember, that's not the uh, righteous path, man. The broad way. So it says, uh, for their feet run to evil. And make haste to shed blood. Surely in vain the net is spread in the sight of any bird. And they that lay wait for their own blood, they lurk privily for their own lives. So the ways of everyone that is greedy of gain, which taketh away the life of the owners thereof, wisdom cries without, uh, that's the point on that. That's the point on that. Let's get the next precept. The last precept in the book of Exodus. And this is the main point right here. The book of Exodus uh, chapter 23 and 2. Let's see. 23 and 2. And, uh, it says, Thou shalt not follow the multitude, the many, all right, the world, all right, to do evil, all right, so it says, thou shalt not follow the multitude to do evil, neither shalt thou speak in a cause to decline after many to rest judgment, all right, so basically that's the point, uh, broad is the way to wickedness, all right, to destruction, and narrow, uh, the narrow gate, the narrow path, the righteous path, uh, is, is the way uh, unto righteousness, man. All right, and basically uh, that's the point. I hope you brothers edified. And uh, with that, I'm gonna say shalom.